Since the 1930s, if you were adopted, you couldn't legally get a copy of your birth certificate. But both Connecticut and New York proposed laws that would change that. There's only 10 states in the whole country that have this law passed. New York passed it. Connecticut didn't. Anna and Raven. Joining us, it's attorney Joe Malizio from Vishnik McGovern Malizio. Joe, what does this mean for people that were adopted in New York? Well, it's a matter of historical significance in that when somebody took advantage of the adoption system throughout the United States in the past, they were in fact assured that their identity would remain confidential and that the records of adoption would be sealed. I assume because people years ago and people today perhaps also did not want to necessarily reveal to anyone they took advantage of the adoption system. What has changed? What changed and why now? Well, there are a lot of people that have been petitioning to have the records released and unsealed. And in order to have records unsealed previously in New York, it was necessary to commence a court proceeding, go into court, plead your case to a judge who had the absolute authority and discretion to deny the application. It was very difficult to obtain adoption records. It really had to be a very serious or life threatening situation. What is the, the main basis with these petitions now? Is it curiosity? Is it medical records? The main proponent, I guess, of this is what has changed really that deflects the rights of those that have given children up for adoption, those that do not want to be identified? It's both of those reasons. And the people that we've spoken to, it seems to be a very significant item in their lives to find out where they came from, what their lineage is is what their parents look like as far as identifying characteristics, eye color, hair color, skin tone, things of that nature. I didn't know that our birth certificate had medical records. Is that common? A birth certificate standing on its own does not have medical records. However, the new law provides that not only is an adopted person entitled to their birth certificate, they're also entitled to whatever else is contained in the file ah. that was sealed when the adoption took place. Wow. So that adoption would include characteristics with respect to the biological parents, health histories, and it would also include any medications that the biological mother might have been taking while she was pregnant. Wow. How does this work with HIPAA? Well, it's very interesting. The disclosure has been made in the adoption file already, and I assume, although I haven't read anything significant on it, I assume since the information does relate to the person who was adopted, even though it was their parents' information to a large extent, it can in fact be HIPAA compliant. But again, I haven't looked into it in any great detail. One last question. I have a friend who was born and raised in Long Island, was put up for adoption in Long Island, and now lives in Connecticut. Would she be able to file in New York to get that information? Yes, she would. As long as the adoption took place in New York, New York State would be the applicable venue for her to apply. Correct. Okay. Attorney Joe Malizio, Vishnik McGovern Malizio. You can find them online at vmmlegal.com. Joe, thank you for taking the time this morning. We appreciate it. You're certainly welcome. Anytime. Three ways to take care of your skin.